Ian became a hurricane and Peyton, of course, we had some concern here possibly for us last week that that seems to be panning out to not be for us. Right. Yeah, we're a lot more confident now this is heading towards Florida and bringing in impacts. Our cool front comes in today and we've got some really nice weather headed our way. Let's start with Ian Hurricane Ian as of the 4 a.m. update a 75 mile per hour hurricane. It is rapidly strengthening and it is in a tremendous environment to strengthen hot water temperatures, low wind shear, and it now has a well developed core, which is going to allow this to continue its rapid intensification. It's sitting about 90 miles away from the Cayman Islands at this point. It's going to pass near the western tip of Cuba by tonight. And notice already a major hurricane, so this thing is just going to continue to intensify, and it's going to be in this really good environment to intensify all the way through the next couple of days. So Cat 3, and then it's in the Gulf tonight. Notice we have it up to a Category 4. That's when maybe later tomorrow night, Tuesday night, you start to feel the tropical storm force winds along the western side of Florida towards Fort Myers, and then the winds continue to move in. The storm continues to near Florida, but notice what happens. It really parallels it and then begins that weakening phase. Now, the thing with this system is it's going to be difficult. Don't focus on just the numbers here because this type of path is going to cause significant surge for the western side of Florida. They're set up just like ours. They have a shallow continental shelf here, and that allows water to pile up easier. They got all these bays. So from Tampa to Fort Myers, even to the north, going to have big surge problems. Yes, it's weakening some. The winds are hopefully not going to be a major, major issue, but this is still going to be a big storm for uh, Florida here. And then it's up into Georgia by we'll say Saturday once again staying well to our east. Why is it making the turn? Well, a trough is coming down. That trough is what's sending our cool front. It's weakened the side of this ridge and Ian's going to ride around the edge of that ridge. Now, as it gets a little further to the north in the Gulf, that trough is lifting away, but fortunately it's already so far to the north here and the steering currents are going to weaken. That's why it's going to slow down, but we are still expecting it to move into Florida. But with a slower moving storm towards the end of the track there towards Florida, there is still some uncertainty exactly where that landfall is going to be, but regardless, it's going to bring impacts nearly to the uh, entire western side of the peninsula. All of our models all are agreeing that yes, it's heading towards Cuba tonight and then up towards Florida. Once again, the big question is the landfall a little bit further to the north into Big Bend or a little bit further to the south closer to Tampa. Just going to have to wait and see, but hopefully everyone's heating and taking precautions there.